In the case is the stand. We have it propped up here. You can see how we did ours. Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the EcoFlow 220 watt solar panel. I did receive this sample, but I want you to know that any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. You'll actually see on the back side of the box, they have your installation instructions right there for you, setting and installing everything right on the back of the box. So be sure to reference that. Now let's go ahead, let's open this up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature consisting of our quick start guide, very helpful documentation to get everything properly configured, positioned and set up. So follow those instructions on how to use everything. They also have some tips and tricks for series connection versus parallel, as well as getting higher charging efficiency. They walk you through the included contents as well. So very detailed and thorough. Be sure to reference that. Next, you'll see we have our disclaimer and safety information. So be sure to reference this before use. They also have some tech specs in here, it appears. So let's look at that. There's the parameters. Feel free to pause the screen to look everything over there. This does come with a 12 month warranty. We also have our four carabiner clips here. Next, you'll see we have our included power cable and connection right there for us. You'll also see on the carrying case and stand, it's a two in one, we have the EcoFlow logo and branding. Nice grip handles here. You will use this to prop up your panels. And then lastly, we have the panels right here. There's so many. It's too big to unfold here, but you get the idea. We'll look at that up close in a little bit here, but you'll see on the back side, we have our cable with our instructions for setup. But this side is the back. This side that's blue right here, that's reflecting as you'll see with our studio lights. That's gonna be the side you want to point to the sun. Now let's go ahead, let's get everything set up and check it out in more detail. All right, so we have the panels set up here. We are on an angle and a hillside, but that's gonna give us the best positioning in our particular spot for the sun. But I thought it'd be good for you to see everything installed on a hill, not just your typical flat surface or sidewalk. So take a look, make sure you have the correct side for the sun, and they do have that sticker on there. If your sticker's missing or you removed it and you want to reference it, it's gonna be the side with our cable connection right there. Look at that though. It's super hot in the sun. Wanted to show you, got our carabiners here, clipped in at the bottom, clipped in up at the top right there. We'll go look at the back side. Again, the case is the stand. We have it propped up here. You can see how we did ours. Got those straps underneath. You can get creative with how you want to position it. If you wanted to adjust the angle, so I wanted the angle to be basically as flat as we could to get up to that sun, but we can also tighten this up, right? So we could zip up the bottom here, cut some of that slack, and then we can have it positioned further up as needed. Backside view though. EcoFlow did provide this portable power bank for us. See right there, our input wattage is 108. So this supports 110 watts max input. So we're getting what we should be and that's charging everything up. What's cool too is on this unit, it tells us the recharging time. It's gonna take, looks like maybe one hour if I'm understanding that correctly. Input though, getting the max for this unit right there. How we have it connected, you'll see on the back, there's our input. That cable comes right here and we connect plus to red, minus to black. So you're positive and negative. Color coded, everything's clearly labeled and identified for you. Good length there on the cable. What's cool is you could tuck everything in here too. So say we wanted to get this out of the way, we can just throw that in there. We could tidy up our cables. All of that, it's a complete kit. Just make sure you're in the sun. You have it at the right angle that you want and need. No obstructions or shade. 
and enjoy that free solar energy. All right, so after getting everything set up and trying it out, here's what I wanna share with you guys. So I'm pleased with it overall. The build quality is great. Just make sure you have sun. That's really gonna be the key here. So they also did a nice job with the design, having the case be an all-in-one case for easy traveling and to use as the stand. But I also wish that we did have a better stand, especially for hillside environments like this versus maybe just your flat surfaces, concretes, patios, parking lots, things like that. So I'm grateful that it's less packing and it's an all-in-one multi-purpose case and stand. But with that being said, it definitely has some shortcomings in regards to just, it's not a dedicated stand, so it's not designed that way. And I'd love to have something with just better, easy setup, more um, adjustments. Everything's more fine-tuned and precise. Maybe some self-leveling. Things along those lines. That would be really cool to see in the future. But again, this is designed to be portable, easy to take with you and pack, camping, off-roading. You get the idea. So overall, 220-watt solar panel. Just make sure you have the sun and you'll be all set and ready to go.